Warm greetings everyone. We are from the Department of Computer Applications going through second year. As you can see on the screen, the topic is transaction management which comes under database management system. Transaction or fundamental concept in DBMS and they are essential for ensuring the integrity and consistency of data. In this presentation, we are going to see about the topics transactions, its properties, transaction states and transaction management. Transactions Collections of operations that form a single logical unit of work are called transactions. A transaction must always be completed or aborted in its entirety. This means that either all of the operations in the transaction are successfully completed or none of them are. Transaction state. These are the states through which a transaction goes during its lifetime. First, the transaction begins. The active state is the first state of every transaction. In this state, the transaction is being executed. In the partially committed state, a transaction executes its final operation, but the data is still not saved to the database. A transaction is said to be in a committed state if it executes all its operations successfully. In this state, all the effects are now permanently saved on the database system. If any of the checks made by the database recovery system fails, then the transaction is said to be in failed state. In the transaction fails, in the middle of the transaction, then before executing the transaction, all the executed transactions are rolled back to its consistent state. After aborting the transaction, the database recovery module will select one of the two operations, restart the transaction, kill the transaction. There are some properties which the transaction management has. Atomicity. The entire transaction takes place at once or doesn't happen at all. Consistency. The database must be consistent before and after the transaction. Isolation. Multiple transactions occur independently without interference. Durability. The changes of a successful transaction occurs even if the system failure occurs. As I have said in the previous transition state diagram, the same applies here. First, the transaction begins. The active state performs read and write operations. If the operations are successful, then it goes to the partially committed state. If any failure occurs, then it transfers to the failed state. From the partially committed state, if all the operations has performed successfully, then it goes to the committed state. In the failed state, if any failure occurs, then it goes to the aborted state. After these states, the transaction terminates. Here are the examples of transaction management. Booking a flight purchasing an item online, updating inventory levels, creating a new customer account. There are some benefits in transaction management. Data integrity. Transactions provide a crucial mechanism to ensure that database operations are executed reliably and safely. Consistency. It is a set of rules that ensure that all data points in the database system are correctly read and accepted. Reliability. Database reliability is defined broadly to mean that the database performs consistently without causing problems. Thank you. Thank you.